Hi on MPI brought to you by DigiKey. This week is from MPS Lady. What is the new product introduction of the week this week? I'm glad you asked. This is MPS, which we've not done yet. So I'm psyched. I always love it when we have a uh, new company to feature. Uh, MPS makes the MPM 36, uh, 3510 chip, uh, chip DC DC module, uh, which we'll talk about. MPS is that uh, stands for monolithic uh, power systems, which is uh, you might be wondering like, wow, like like a monolith. Yeah. And the answer is yes, they actually make things that are kind of like rectangular and black. And when you touch them, uh, your designs get much, much better. <laughs> like you evolve, I guess. Dun, dun. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, yeah, so um, MPS they make um, a lot of stuff. But one of the things that I love them for is their step down converter modules, and these are all in one kind of. They look like chip. They're actually inside. There's an inductor and a chip, and a couple passives, and they make it really, really easy for you to do a power supply that's very compact. So the 3510. When I saw this show up on digikey.com/new, I got excited because actually I was just a couple days ago I was looking for a chip like this. So this is a module that can take. 4.5 to 3. Point, to 36 volts so like a fairly high voltage input and then buck it down to as little as 0.8 volts to you know 36 volts at 1.2 amp continuous load current and because dc dc there's no heat sink required um it's very compact and the inductor like i said is built in which makes it so tiny and small and easy to use because all you need is a couple passive components so like normally on a buck converter, you would like need, you know, there'd be like maybe a diode or maybe you would be driving a transistor or, you know, this and that, or you need like a feed forward capacitor. All that stuff is taken care of for you. All you need is capacitive input, a capacitor on the output, and then a resistor divider that tells it what voltage you want in the output. Um, I originally saw this uh, series of chips on the Nano Every. Uh, from Arduino, I was like, what is that power supply that they've got there? So, you know, this board needs to be very compact, um, very efficient, and they want a lot of current from their DC DC supply. So they used an NPM 3610, which is like the earlier version of the 3510, but um, they're very similar. And we also made a breakout for the 3610. Uh, like you said, give it V in up to, this one does 21 volts, the 3510 does up to 36 volts. And you see how compact it is. It's just a resistor divider. There's one extra pull-up resistor and then uh, two big uh, bulk capacitors on the input and output. And you're pretty much ready to go, 1.2 amps output. You can check our design files. They're up on GitHub if you want to use them. But I also noticed uh, DigiKey has a really nice new um, EDA footprint and 3D model page for almost every product. So on the product page, scroll down, look for where it says EDA models, click on it. And, um, you know, this provided through Ultra Librarian and a couple other companies, you can export for whatever your CAD software is. So I use Eagle CAD, but they also have KiCad, OrCAD, Altium, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the footprint, the symbol, and a 3D model, which is pretty cool because then you can use it if you're, especially if you're making something really small, you're probably going to have to, um, uh, you know, make sure that the height and size of your uh, module doesn't uh, interfere with any other component. Like I said, the layout is super simple. Um, you can do it on a two-layer design fairly easily on a circuit board. You know, I would go with a two-ounce copper if you can. Um, I think I do for the little breakouts just because, you know, it's a fair amount of current. Um, you just have to provide power in and then ground. There's sometimes a couple other extra pins, um, like PG for power good, if you want to have an external LED, or, uh, I think there's also maybe a pin. You can change the, the mode for the, the buck converter. If you want to go from, um, like a high current load to a low current mode, um, for, a, a low quiescent usage. And one of the things that, you know, because this is a. You know, it's all integrated. It's really tiny. And I'll show in the overhead how small it is. It's, it's, it's fairly small and very thin. So the way they do that is, of course, they, they have a very small inductor. Because usually the inductor is like the biggest part of your buck or boost converter, not the chip. The chip is, is trivial um, in size. It's the inductor that has to be big. So to make it big, they have to have a very high frequency for the PWM run rate, which is, I think, like one-ish megahertz, maybe up to one and a half megahertz, maybe two megahertz. So the higher the frequency, the smaller the inductor, because the smaller the inductance you need for the rated current. However, uh, that also does affect efficiency. So you'll note that 
it's not bad efficiency. You can get fairly good over 90% efficiency, but you're not going to get like the absolute highest you can get if you're willing to go down to like 400 kilohertz or 500 kilohertz or 750 on some chips I've seen um, and have a really big inductor. That's the trade-off. Personally, you know, I've had no issue with this trade-off, especially if you're not running off a battery or if your battery's big enough that the efficiency isn't going to affect you highly. So um, for that use case, I don't have an issue, but just be aware, like it is a higher frequency chip, so the efficiency won't be as high. There's a wide family available of up to like 60 amp modules um, from different uh, voltage input ranges. The bigger the module, sorry, the higher the voltage input range, the higher the current output, the larger the module. Um, but you can get as small as the, you know, the NPM 3811 uh, is two by two by 1.6 millimeters. Um, so the family we're talking about here is that I've used is the 3610 and, and 3620. So it's three by five by uh, 1.6 millimeters. So let's look at the overhead real fast and we'll, we'll show it in stock. So this is actually the Power BFF, which is actually the product of the week. So you'll see, I wanted to make a board where um, it was a DC DC converter from this you know, 12 volt DC jack or terminal block and five volt output at one, you know, 1.2 amps. And to do that, I had to make it this small, like the board size was fixed because it had to fit uh, like so. Hold on. Should I plug it in? It had to fit in this like 0.7 by, you know, one inch size. And so it turned out that actually I didn't even have the size to put an inductor and a DC converter. And the only way I could make this all work out is to use one of the NPM 36 uh, tens, or I'll probably make another version now with a uh, 35 ten. And then you can see the bulk capacitance and then tiny, tiny little resistor over there that's used uh, to make the um, uh, resistor divider. And then, yeah, you know, there's an enable pin that you can use to, uh, for, you know, really low power usage, you shut off the um, buck converter all, all together uh, using these two pads over here. So, uh, you know, I use this series of um, modules all the time. I'm really psyched that they have the 3510 because the only downside of the 3610 is it had that 20 volt max. And I really wanted to have people be able to use it with up to 24 volts. So I'm going to probably revise this design to use the 3510. And the good news is that it's in stock. So I can do that. <laughs> um, pick them up at DigiKey for a couple of bucks, the 3510, but then check out the entire family. Um, if you want something very small and very fast, kind of can't beat this series of modules from NPM. Oh, we have a video. The electronics industry is evolving, and these changes will have a big effect on the power design market. Design solutions can now be integrated into one package, pre-optimized by MPS engineers. MPS power modules integrate the maximum number of components, including the power IC and inductor, while still providing comprehensive flexibility for the designer to tailor to the needs of the application. This provides an even more distinct leap in cost effectiveness and the highest performance over both discrete designs and other modules on the market. MPS modules create incredible space savings in industry standard packaging. Full integration allows for easy board design and layout, which translates into faster time to market. The MPS power module family offers wide input voltage operation ranges between 2.3 volts and 75 volts, with 0.6 amps to 800 amps of output current, composing the most extensive portfolio of modules on the market. Simplify and accelerate the power design process with MPS power modules. Hi on MPS.